Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Vaughn VE9 Pro Carbon Light Pad Snapshot Review. I'll have a separate video on the gloves, so I'll compare these two and then talk about this one the same one. Don't really have enough to do a video for each. And then this one will be talking about the features of this, compare it to the VE8 um, and like my thoughts on it as well. I do have a chest protector snapshot review as well. All those will be linked at the end of the video and in the description. For now, we're looking at the VE9. Um, so I had a chance to use the VE8s before, but they were pro returns. And coming from this pad, which is, the boot is pretty soft on this. The pro returns ones I had was a solid boot. Um, so it's a bit different than this. Um, so these two will be the closest comparison I can really get. With that said, this isn't a pro carbon. I couldn't get my hands on a pro carbon when the, I got my hands on these. So I did the best I could. Um, so bear with me and I apologize. Anyways, VE9, this is a 35 plus two. So is this for comparison's sake. Here is um, Brian's 36 plus one. Um, when you line them up, they're identical. I put it up to my 2X Pro, with a, which is an XL, lined up the same. And I put it up to my Optic 2, which is a 36 plus one, and it lined up to be the same. So that's the sizing part of it. Um, so first, since we're in this view, we'll talk about the flexibility. Um, this is a soft pad. All Vaughn pads are pretty soft pads, to be totally honest. Um, I haven't seen a stiff Vaughn pad ever that I would actually consider stiff. But anyways, even the SLR is nothing compared to my Optics, Optic 2s, the 2X Pros, my JRZs, they're not, it's not even close. Um, with that said, soft boot, um, not like E-Flex 4 soft boot, but soft boot. Thigh rise, super soft, below like the knee, super soft. Um, so when I wore, put these on for the coverage video of the chest protector, they basically feel like they move with your leg, which is more, not a lot of my pads do, most of my pads don't, because I wear pretty stiff pads. Um, they kind of just like float on top of your leg. These ones really feel like they move with your leg. And that's, I get why people like velocity pads. Um, it makes sense to me and that it's a different feeling, but I get it. So that is the stiffness on there. For comparison's sake, the VE8, very similar, just as soft. Um, this one's probably been abused a bit more because it's been in a store. So people will like squish it. And also comparison's sake, so this is a stock Optic 4. Um, I didn't get any, this is just like the retail version. It's not like in terms of stiffness, boot is softer on this than that. Thigh rise is stiffer on this than that. Okay, so the biggest change on the V9 compared to the eight, in my opinion, is a quick slide on the sliding surface. Um, there's some other small changes as well, but adding this is, is gonna make it slide way better. The SLR2 is still the best sliding pad I've ever worn. Um, it's because of their quick slide material it is amazing. Now, Brian's has their Primo material. It looks the same, it sort of feels the same. The difference is the Vaughn one feels like it's coated with something. So it's much more, um, it's much more slippery and it feels like crazy different. So for comparison's sake, these are both premium pads. I've worn these about four times. That, it feels slippery but this feels like someone sprayed something on it or it has a coating and the coating just makes it like rocket. And that was my experience with the SLR twos. Um, they slid like nothing else on all ice conditions. And again, that, that's on the v, V9s and that's gonna be a huge thing. And that's gonna be the biggest change between these two pads in terms of, in my opinion, just overall. So face of the pad, honestly, besides graphics, everything looks pretty, like everything looks pretty similar. The little ball, like these parts right here do look like they stick out a little bit more. Um, but they, the interesting thing that Vaughn didn't do on these is they didn't make this really hard. So a lot of companies like Bauer, I think CCM is doing it for the axis. They basically made this sliding edge as hard as can be um, because of, I think the idea is that the harder surface has less give to it. So that way when you push and everything, less energy will be lost in the, if any like give and it'll just slide better. This is not hard at all. This is pretty soft um, all over. Like this is flexible, but it's not like super, it's not pass out soft. 
Um, but none of this is super hard, so that's interesting to me. I still think it's gonna slide really well because the SLR2s weren't super hard either. They slid really, really well. Outside roll, not much has changed here. This is honestly a pretty, this is the most traditional pad on the market in my opinion. And by that I mean like from pads, like from the, if you think of a traditional pads of V4, this is the closest thing. And E-Flex isn't even close to this anymore in my opinion. The core is just totally different. Um, this is still a soft, a really soft pad and E-Flex is, I don't think are that soft, especially compared to this. The face rebounds are, but the actual pad itself is not. Um, Vaughn did say that they made the rebounds hotter, so they would be harder off the face. Um, it does feel a little bit stiffer, but I'm not gonna say it feels a ton. Um, that would be something I'd have to use to actually find out about. Um, so I can't remember which was on the toe ties for the V9 or V8s, so I'm not gonna comment because I know that they were different than this. Um, same with the bootstrap. The bootstrap was a stretch. Like it had a piece of uh, spandex, I think, in between it that would stretch. It was really nice. Toe straps on the V9 are, honestly, Vaughn, just use Velcro. This is like the third iteration that is just annoying. So this, it's a hook and it's like this rubber, or it's like a plasticky thing that, that would, I think the last one was a rubber. Um, the SLR had a carbon fiber one and it was awful. And just make this Velcro. I get you're trying to do something different. I, I like the bungee cord. Just make it Velcro, please. It works. It's so much easier to do than this too. And these stupid clips, like Velcro is easier because you can bend it. So it can go through holes in your skates and these are more annoying and can break easier than Velcro. So please go to Velcro. Um, your bootstrap, elastic, removable here. Does Not really removable there, but that's not a big issue. You can pull it out right here for removing. That's just gonna hang with whatever. Um, elastic, which is nice. As you can see, more designs go behind the heel. Uh, like, sorry, behind, yeah, behind your heel, behind for the Lundy loop. Um, the other, well, I guess this would be a bigger change in quick slide, but I mean, gone is the awful strapping. The magnetic strapping was the worst design strapping I've ever seen. These things, and I've seen goalies on YouTube with this stuff falling off. There was a clip that was circulating for a bit and I couldn't find it. I looked it up again and so it was attached. He was playing, it fell off and then mid game, it reattached itself. So this, I, I get the idea and they're using magnets for their, um, their professor reactor control, reactive control strap on the SLR. So I get why they went with magnets, but this just didn't work. And I saw so many of these falling out. Um, like this would just come apart and why this honestly, they never needed these straps with this pad. All you needed is this one right here and you were good to go. Um, but I guess people do want that little bit of adjustability, but they took that away from here. They went back. They, so I, I think this is a better move. Um, I like this strapping system a lot. It's super easy. You have one, you have your inner, and then you have your reactive control, which you can take out. Um, but it's so much nicer than what like it was before, which was just this, like these stupid things. The straps and everything Vaughn uses is pretty nice. I like them using the quick, uh, the quick slide on everything. It's just, I think it's a nice touch. Um, it's not quite as nice as CCM Bowers, the little edges. This part is like just quick slide, but it's sewn over. So it's nicer than nothing, but it's not amazing. So the other big change on this pad that is, I don't know if it's hidden per se, but we'll switch these around to show them off. Um, so Vaughn has added a pillow to the calf strap. So you can see now this is two pieces where before this was all one and it kind of had like, it was, it's kind of plush, kind of sticks out a bit, but that was all one piece. Now this is two. And the reason being you now have a removable pillow right in there and that's a great design. And so I mentioned in the past that optic, basically Brian's optic pads felt like they were cheating because the pillow would push the calf down. So your knee didn't have to be on the ice, but the calf would be on the ice because the pillow would kind of raise your leg up and kind of push that down. That's a great feature. Great move by Vaughn adding that. Bowers added it for the ultrasonics. We have it here. It's a great design. Um, Brian's there's props for, I know pillows aren't a Brian's thing, but Brian's there's props for doing it on a modern pad. And then kind of everyone else is adding it again. Um, so I like that a lot. I really like this whole wrap system. It's simple, but it works. And when it was on my leg, it was pretty comfortable. 
So I'm a big fan of that. You don't have, one thing that's pretty interesting is this is super loose. Um, so even if you do, when you do it up, it's still, it's not like held in like Bowers is kind of more held in. This is kind of floppy and it's not really hard. Um, I didn't have any issues with the V8 with stability. So I'm not sure how this is gonna play out. This is definitely harder than Passa House, um, but it's not super hard. So I'm kind of curious on what that. I'd probably prefer something stiffer there, but this is a soft pad. Into the knee area. So you have Nash on the knee block. I can't remember if the old one was a nylon or Nash, like the pro carbon, because this is just a pro. Um, I think I still think Vons and Ash feels kind of cheap um, compared to others. It's not that soft, but if it's more durable than whatever, then that's good. So you have your Nash right here, but it's really plush. Bryant is kind of plush too. Um, but the thing of the difference here is that this strap is elastic. This one is not. So this won't bend with your leg where this one will or stretch your leg. This one will stretch with your leg. Bauer did something similar with the elastic at the very tip which is a great design, but the rest of it is just totally lacking compared to this. This is a way better design. Um, so props to Vaughn for doing it really well again. They've done it well since the SLR one. And I'm glad to see that strap on the velocity pads. Um, outer knee flap, removable, pretty straightforward. So this is kind of interesting to me and in how they attach this knee block. Um, so we're gonna take it apart because that's one of the things. So we have the inner layer, but then you can see it's not really coming off because it's attached to Velcro on the wrap. It's kind of interesting. Um, so it's kind of three pieces, but it wraps around. This knee block is, so we looked at the ultrasonic recently where the knee block doesn't move at all. This um, is not like that at all. This is a much more traditional style, does not have the stability of the ultrasonic and it's not even close. As you can see, you can bend it like totally and it's easy to bend too. Um, it really goes over there. It, like I said, traditional pad. So you're not getting those like crazy new tech on there and it's softer pad. So you can see it's like no difference from the old one. So not super happy about that, but I mean, it is kind of what it is and that's kind of how this pad rolls. Um, I, like, I love the little carbon fiber details and then for the sizing. I think that fiber change from the SLR tube, I don't have one here to check, but anyways, that's, I think that's a nice touch. Vaughn got rid of the binding on the VE8, so I gave him huge credit for that. Um, it was one of the reasons I would never look at a Vaughn pack because it still had the binding on here and it would wear out. It's gone, good job, Bauer, maybe you should listen. Um, but at the same point, same time, this is still exposed. I didn't notice a ton of wear on the SLRs when I had them. I'm, I think that's gonna wear a little bit. So I guess they're still in Bowers book since this is still a spot that's open. I think, I wish this was recessed a bit um, and or just covered more all the way through, but it isn't. So I guess that is what it is. So the other part about this pad that is the stiffness of the core. So yes, this is a soft pad. You can get it stiffer. I'm not sure if the core gets stiffer across the face. Um, and what I mean by that is this. So you can see that bending. Um, so my concerns about that is over time from people jamming pucks, from pucks just going off the thigh rise, the thigh rise ends up bending inwards. And that was my experience with my optic ones, which I would say a bit stiffer than this one. The other thing I noticed with this pad, I mentioned it in my Passau review, was when I put my hand on to rest it, the upper pad bent like this. I wasn't putting force, well, I mean, I'm putting my body weight on it and then it just kind of did that. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit worried about that just because of how soft they are and if they'll last that long, like the whole shape will hold because um, it is a bit softer than I was look, would be looking for. Um, but I get that this is a soft pad. I just wish they did could do something there to stiffen that across the face just for durability concerns. Um, the other thing that this pad has really good out of the box um, five hole. So you can see the seal is phenomenal. And I think that's part to do with how they stretched out this bit. It does look a bit thicker than the old one. I noticed it on the SLR as well. Um, so that's really good there. And I really like, like that seal is excellent, but it is a super, super soft pad, which means the more you use it, that's going to raise. And, but it also bends your legs. So it will raise as well. Um, this is big for me because I play RVH a lot and 
pucks go like when it raises like this, it pucks can go in. So that's about it for this review of the Vaughn Velocity V9. I guess it's a snapshot review. Obviously, I haven't got a chance to use these on the ice. They're not mine. I'm going to try to get a chance to use them on the ice um, because I honestly want a pair. Uh, I want to, I, I will use really stiff pads and I want to go to a smaller size and a soft pad just to go from like what I'm used to to something crazy just to see. So I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, so I kind of want to try a demo to see if I'll like it and see if it'll be worth the investment. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I'm, I, I know that these are going to slide amazing because of this quick slide. Um, so I got to give them props for that. And I'm really hoping I get a chance to use these. So I won't put in the title that they're effing unbelievable, but they're, they're solid. And they're, in my, they're the softest pad on the market. Um, they're way softer than E-Flexes, but the core is soft. And that's a little concern for durability. Um, but with the sliding on them, I don't think any soft pad can compete with this right now. Genetic-ish. Uh, but these will probably slide better But yeah, they're they're pretty imp they're pretty impressive again. I just want to get them on the ice I'm I'd be pretty I, I like them and when they're here. I like them and I want to use them. So yeah, that's about it So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube follow me on Instagram and Twitter I have small little clips and pictures on Instagram that aren't big enough for YouTube But might be interesting and also remember, if you want me to review a piece of equipment or if you buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to that manufacturer, let them know, gets me on the radar. So hopefully these aren't just snapshot reviews and they're actual gameplay reviews. Um, Cause I feel like those would be more helpful and I can keep making content. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Check out the pads, the glove videos, check out the locker, the chest videos. They'll be linked in the description as well. Take care.